Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name, me, I'm pointing at me. My name is Dacosity, and we will be going through Reddit again for the, like the hundredth time, all right? We're gonna go through the Multiverses subreddit and we're gonna read through and commentate and just say shit and talk and we're gonna be, a, it's gonna be a wonderful time. It's gonna be a wonderful time. Let's hop right into it. Oh, this guy's, he's filming his TV with the phone. Look at that. Modern problems require modern solutions. Ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, oh, not that, not that shit again. <laughs> I like that glitch. I hope it never leaves. Blocking is needed. Really? I don't want this game to turn out to be complete clone of Smash, but at the same time, I do feel like we need an option for blocking. Dodging just simply isn't enough for how some of these characters work. Deleted. Unavailable. Nice. Yes, move better to bugs that has a rocket pie and F air coming at you. At the same time, move better to area who is literally teleports to you at the speed of crackhead. I can go on and ref but I refuse. Well, I'm far from it. Been constantly sticking the top 10k in ranking. That's not that good. <laughs> it's early access. I'm top 300 in bugs for 1v1. I am not top 300 bugs in North America. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm pretty decent at the game, but I have not gone in the lab once. I am playing this game purely off learning from experience and fundamentals I learned from Smash and Brawlhalla. I have not practiced at all. I do not know combos that I haven't made up on the fly. I don't know proper spacing for shit. I don't know frame data for anything. And I'm top 300 bugs in 1v1 at this time. It's probably going to change soon. But being, I, I'm not, I'm not top five, like lower than top 5k for like any of the characters that I play. Now I think about it. That's not a flex. <laughs> If you aren't fast enough to dodge areas teleport, what makes you think you'll be fast enough to block it? I can dodge it, but I think there should be more options for defense like I stated. Well, dude, it's already like this game <sighs> blocking doesn't blo first off blocking negates some of the characters in the game, right? Steven has a block. Some characters are built around the fact that they can provide block-ish mechanics and support to their team. If you add a block button, their utility goes to shit. I mean, yeah, I guess they had an extra block, but that's like, it has diminishing returns. You're still blocking a hit. And now we got to practice like, oh, what has good hit stun on block? What's safe to wake up out of a block with? Now, now we got to do that shit with this game. So it's already 2v2, man. There's already too much shit to worry about to begin with. <laughs> You think you're you're solving an issue, you're actually making it more complicated, my guy. I, I disagree with you, Novo. Novo J? That's who you are? I hope I don't I I, I hope you, you don't watch this. I, I don't want conflict. I hate conflict. I actually don't, but <laughs> No, the game was made without blocking, no point adding it randomly now, could affect balancing gameplay terribly at this point. Thank you, Crystal Mango. You are very correct. Maybe you should pick up Steven, he's a block function just like Smash. Ew, I will never stop a stoop that low. Steven's like, mid. I mean, he's good. Like, every character in this game is pretty good. It's just he's, you know, like, oh, oh no, Steven. Oh no, I, I have to verse Steven now. Oh, I'm really shaking in my voot boots. After the open beta, will we get an offline mode? You know, like a mode for local offline, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not even gonna read the rest of that. What makes Multiverses more than just another Smash clone? Opinions wanted. Uh, honestly, probably just quality. Most of these Smash clones are just half-hearted, don't ever try to be anything more than a cash grab. Outside of my very, very loud opinions on its monetization, it's a perfect storm of elements. Warner Brothers really playing into memes, the developers being passionate, and Smash Ultimate finishing DLC leaving a massive vacuum for Warner Brothers knowing full well that putting money into this could make them an ungodly amount of money, especially with people feeling a little bit burned by Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, not really living up to the hype. A ton of care is put into this game, and unlike Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, they have the workforce to really get things done and answer community complaints outside of patch every <laughs> patches every three to four months. I still like Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, but yeah, it's inarguable that it did not live up to the hype and simply wasn't the greatest it could have been if Viacom, Game Mill, etc. gave a shit. 
The devs do work extremely hard, but it's obvious they don't have the resources they should alongside Viacom giving them so many ridiculous restrictions. Unlike North... Ugh. Unlike Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, Multiverses actually has the quality and effort to live up to the hype. And just as much mean power as Nick's cast do. LeBron, Shaggy, Big Chungus, not in the game right now, but it's, ine it's inevitable. And unlike Smash or Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, they are more than willing to entertain the possibility of characters outside the scope of their game. Outside of trying to nickel and dime you every step of the way, it's a Smash fan's dream that somehow, in a high-profile, high-quality game, you could legitimately see Goku, Jojo, Mr. T, Chuck Norris, and Shrek in a platform fighter. Very well said, Mr. Name. That's not even... It's literally just letters. J-B-Y... Jabrad... Dad? <laughs> Rad Brad. Completely agree with all your points, but what I find interesting is how different the reception to multiverses is compared to Space Jam 2, and they're both basically the same concept. Really well, in my opinion. Re ugh, really well put, in my opinion. As a newcomer into the genre, you can feel the love in the characters and the gameplay really translate the easy to get into, hard to master, I think. The last time I played a platform brawler was Smash on the GameCube, but this feels amazing to play and incredibly fun. I will agree on the monetization needing to look, <laughs> needing a look at, but I've said in other threads, I think the game could easily be worth 30-ish bucks for the base Founders Pack. This game's fantastic. Yeah, the monetization's a like, the skins are a little too overpriced, but honestly, who cares? Every character in this game feels ama amazing, like, and paying six, 60 bucks gets you pretty much every character anyway, and that's like a full price game anyway. And then, I think you get some more tickets if you spend 60 bucks, so you'll have some new characters. I agree that they're nickel and diming you a little bit, but it's, the game is, Unlike any other Smash clone I've seen in a while, it's really, really, really fun. I have people who have played platform fight do not like platform fighters, sorry, and they love this game. They're addicted to this game, like I am. I already have like 40 plus hour hours in it. This game is incredible, and it's not even beta yet. There's not even guilds. There's not even a story mode yet. Half the characters that we know are coming aren't there yet. The, it already gets more viewers than Brawlhalla, even when Brawlhalla is doing a freaking like summer championship shit. And it's not even out yet. By the way, speaking of viewers, check out my Twitch. It's in the description. Also, maybe like the video, subscribe, and also maybe leave a comment down below on how you're feeling about multiverses so far if you were able to get an early access code. Now, let's talk about Brad. He says... How he finds it interesting how the reception to multiverses is different than Space Jam 2. Now, the thing is, with Space Jam 2, it was more of a soulless copy of the original. The original was mostly product placement anyway, but it was done right, didn't take itself too seriously. It was very fun, it had somewhat of a story that was not garbage, uh, and it had space and jam in it. The music was fire, and the uh, you know, it actually had anything to do with space. Now, with Space Jam 2, the movie was almost exclusively product placement, and just, hey, look at that, hey, look at that, nostalgia. Was it funny? LeBron's voice acting and acting in general could use some work, but I, we weren't expecting much anyway with that. And there's no space. The villain's a computer virus or some shit. They're not from space, and the music's not that great. There, it's not even a Space Jam movie. So that's why, uh, you know, uh, the movie's just not as good. The movie's just not good. There wasn't heart put into the movie like this game. This game clearly is a ton of heart and a ton of money put into it in the right places and the right people are working on it. it, was, it this game is clearly not just a cr cash grab, which is what Space Jam 2 is. Obviously, they're in this to make money, but doing a cash grab, ca cash grab, Jesus, cash grab involves you using the least amount of money as possible to make the most amount of profit, right? Like Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Nickelodeon knew, hey, we throw them three nickels in a shoe, they make a game, hype it up, hey, look, everyone buys it because they want to try it. They made it, you had to pay for it. So everyone buys a copy. Oh, look, the game's actually kind of dog shit. Oh, Sorry, I already gave you my $40. I already made tens of millions of dollars on it. And oh, well, we only spent like, you know, 25 cents. So that's pretty good. 
you know, it's just a quick buck to them, right? But this game's different. This is an investment for Warner Brothers and Player First Entertainment, or games, sorry, entertainment, what the hell? This is going to be years and years of revenue. This is how you actually do business. This is a business. This game is a business. This is an investment, and we're pogging out. That's why it's better. That's why it's different. And that's why I love this game so much. And I cannot wait to see where it goes. And I cannot wait to see how well my Twitch channel and YouTube channel does with the game. Please, God, follow my Twitch and give me money. <laughs> All right. Let's go look at another thread. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Was that a hacker? All right. Let's... What is going on? Oh, no, that's not a hacker. That's a glitch. Let's see what they have to say. Seeing this happen to Velma. Yeah, Velma is a bug with her right now where she just doesn't die. Gold for perks is pay to win. Funny how people think buying perks for gold isn't pay to win. I predicted this as soon as the perk system was announced and confirmed during alpha. $7 equals 700 galenium equals 2000 gold. Gold has real world equivalent value. Anyone... Dude, shut the fuck up. You know how easy it is to buy perks? Who cares if it pay, it's pay to win? There's only like, there's, there's not that many perks. And your teammate needs one of the perks. The, the perks aren't expensive, man. Pay to win, who cares? By the time you actually get, unlock the ability to slot all your perks on a character, you'll have enough gold to buy like a shit ton of perks for them anyway. At least the ones you want. Half the perks in the game are identical to other perks. What a, what, what, a, what a dumb argument. What a dumb argument. What a dumb post. I don't like you. <laughs> if you're watching this, though, please check out my stream on twitch.tv at uh, slash or something dacosity. Uh, it's, in, it's in the description. Please. Please, God. Help me. I'm going to do a 36-hour stream, by the way, on Monday uh, into Tuesday when the game officially launches on open beta. What, happen after, what happens after character level 15? Well, you don't go to tier 15. <laughs> what happens that? Okay, you already asked. I'm curious, do you receive rewards or something each level? No rewards so far. I'm 17, 18, and finish. Just keep leveling up very slowly. Hopefully some hidden reward for reaching a certain level with the character, even a banner or something. Well, it's early access. They'll, they'll pro there'll probably be more rewards once the game fully launches and, you know. I would assume every level, like, just give us some gold, obviously. Gold's a little stingy. I know I was talking about earlier that the Galenium... You know, it, if you're even able to buy gold, I didn't, I didn't see that option, but like, it doesn't, it's so dumb, dude. The perk, even if you can buy gold with Galenium, who cares? The perks, you get the perks, you can have whatever you perk you once pretty much as soon as you hit level, what, le level nine on the character? It's a nonsense issue unlocking perks with gold. And clearly, clearly if you're buying perks for a, ca a character, you're going to be using them a lot anyway. So investing that tiny bit of gold into the perks instead of another character is going to be worth it for you in the long run anyway. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me watch this, actually. Beating this Taz, so please hate m <laughs> He doesn't like Taz players. Neither do I, even though I play with one. He doesn't really spam the tornado, though. Which is, which is really good practice, because when they nerf the tornado, he's gonna be like one of the better Taz's. He's, ar he's already like top- he was top 81. That's why the ranking system doesn't matter. This man's top 81 Taz. He's actually- he's not bad though. It's Wet Wasabi, by the way. You should check him out. He hasn't uploaded in a bit, but he might start uploading content for this game, because he- <laughs> He's one of the friends who doesn't like platform fighters, but he really likes this game. And I'm glad, because the more friends I'm able to do it with that I actually know, the better content I can make involving the game, because it's really awkward playing with people I don't know sometimes. I- I'm a pretty good- you know, I'm pretty charismatic, like, I can hang out, but sometimes it's like, oh, you're kind of weird. I haven't had that happen yet. All the content creators I've engaged with have been amazing. I'm hoping I get to play some games with Bugs V. I, you know, he was one of the first content creators to follow me, and I just kind of didn't uh, talk to him that much because I'm shy. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can uh, play with him. Who else? Who? Uh, different nerd. Actually, did I talk to him? Or I think I just followed him, and we, like, I just noticed him in the Discord. I could just watch this. I lurked his YouTube channel. And then uh, who else? EJ Light I haven't played with. 
What's your highest damage for getting four KOs and, and Shaggy? Jesus. I don't know, Shaggy with 290, that's pretty that's pretty nice for a melee character. You did more than Tom? Yo, Tom, you gotta get your shit together, man. I average like 300 something damage on bugs all the time. Oh wait, 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 wait. Multiverse is in a nutshell. Ugh. I don't get it. I don't get it. What what was the funny part? Oh. Um. Yeah, it's like people leaving or getting disconnected and the match just ends. You, you just die. <laughs> Foul mattered, you deserve more praise for this. This is a funny, funny Reddit post. Some Wonder Woman reverse up air things. What the? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa what? I do be I dude I need to learn Wonder Woman. She looks so so fun. Any tips suggesting for Tom and Jerry? I feel like I'm missing certain things or just not playing appropriately. Yes, I read the move list. So please don't tell me Tom's neutral attack and deflect ref yeah, reflect projectiles. I also ha I'm also having some issues utilizing the dynamite. You can hit the dynamite with your racket, by the way. Tom's a zoner. Just zone. Use your projectiles to zone. If they get in close, Hit them. <laughs> it, I, I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Like you're supposed to zone them and then go in with the big hits when they're vulnerable. You know, when you hit them up with a projectile, you know, go in for the, the tr trash can, frying, just spam frying pan, by the way. If they're off ledge, just spam it. Just spam the frying pan. Use your, ooh, use your fishing pole. Use your fishing pole a decent amount when you can. Uh, especially for recovery options too, because it, it helps you move back and forth. Also, your rocket is a fantastic kill move. So, like, if someone's charging at you and just just see if they'll fall for running into the rocket. Because, like, when you tie up Jerry, the rocket's there. And just aim it a little bit at him. Even if you get hit, they're going to get launched. Bad. I've killed people with the tactic K on that shit at, like, 100. The move is... The move's gross. I love it. <laughs> it's fair, because it's slow as hell and it has a long-ass startup. My first time I played Multiverses is really good. I could love, could, <laughs> could love it. Yeah, it's a really fun game, dude. I'm glad you like it. All right. You know what? I'm going to end it there. Again, please check out my Twitch. I'll just try to make these videos more and more. But uh, leave suggestions in the comments if you want to see me go over some other subreddits, preferably ones that aren't disgusting. Although, if they're YouTube friendly, I might. Or just give me ideas for Multiverses content I could do besides this that involves me just talking. Because, my god, editing is annoying as shit when I have been playing on stream for 12 hours straight. Because the streaming clearly is going to be my route gameplay-wise, because people really don't watch my gameplay videos. And when I edit them, they still don't watch them, like, that much, right? The videos where I'm talking do better, which I'm fine, they're easier to edit, but, you know, help me out here. I love you guys, though, thank you. I'm so glad I have so many new people following me on all my st shit, watching me on Twitch Live. I'm loving the growth, really. I really do appreciate it. I hope I can make this a job one day, hopefully within the next couple weeks because I don't like my job and I wanna get the hell out of here. Anyway, I love you guys. See you in the next one.